Hi, this is Leland with Yamaha Commercial Audio, here to talk to you about Dante Controller. Let's open up Dante Controller and take a look at some of the features and functions of the program, which may be useful when configuring our Dante network. Starting off at the top, there are four tabs. Routing, Device Status, Clock Status, and Events. The Routing tab is where we can choose how audio will be routed from our Dante transmitters to our Dante receivers. On the Device Status tab, we can view the current firmware version of our devices, the IP address for the primary network connection, and whether or not that device is connected to a gigabit network. This information is also available for the secondary redundant port. On the Clock Status tab, we can view which device is currently acting as the master clock for our network, and whether or not that device is slave to an external word clock, such as our M7CL console. If you wish to change which device is acting as the network master, you can do that here. Finally, on the Events tab, if there are any issues with our network that we need to be made aware of, or any changes, such as the changing of the word clock master, we will be notified of them here. Let's take a look at the four icons above these tabs. The icon on the far left will allow us to reload the device information from the network. The second icon is used to load a new configuration file. The third icon is used to create a new configuration file. And finally, with the fourth icon, if we have two network adapters on our computer, we can choose which network adapter to use to communicate with our Dante devices. Let's go back to the routing tab and take a look at some other functions. Anytime you double click on the label for a device, that opens up the device view. On the device view window, you can see which channels are being received, which channels are being transmitted, the status of that device, the device configuration, and the configuration of the network. On the device configuration tab, there is a section that says rename device. This is where we can change the name of our Dante devices if we choose to. Please keep in mind that Dante uses label-based routing, and changing the name of a device may require you to repatch the audio on your network. We'll talk about that more in another video. If you wish to name your receive channels, you can do that on the Receive tab. For example, I can change the name of Channel 2 to Input 2. If you wish to change the name of the channels being transmitted, you can do that on the Transmit tab. In this case, I'm going to change the channel label for number 2 to Snare. The changes that we make here will be viewed on the device window when you open up the patch section between two devices.